Hey friends, welcome to practice. My name is Molly, I'm happy you're here. Um, today is going to be a 20 to 30 minute funky mobility flow. I've just been playing around in my body and these are the movements that I have come up with lately that felt fun or good or interesting. Hopefully they feel good for you too. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, share it with others, and then I have my Venmo link listed below. If you would be so wonderful as to donate, that would be amazing, but I'm happy you're here regardless. If you need further warm up before this class, take it. Basically our warm up today is going to be some cat cow and some cobra, and then we'll get into some movement. So meet me in a tabletop pose. Shoulders stacked over wrists, hips stacked over knees. And then close your eyes, just move through a couple cycles of your cat cow or shifting your hips side to side or a barrel rolling through the chest, whatever feels good for you today. Maybe circling out the wrists. You have 10 breaths to arrive into your body, to move through your spine to find your breath, to start to link that breath with movement. Couple more cycles here. And as you're ready, come down to lay onto your belly. Bring your feet out as wide as you need. Hands are by the sides of your ribs and inhale, push your feet into the mat, lift your kneecaps and curl your heart forward, engaging your back body to get there. Exhale, lower back down, forehead rests. Two more pulses with the breath, inhale to lift. Getting all your muscles around your spine fired up, exhale, release. One more round, inhale. And exhale, release, good. Push into your palms, straighten your elbows and come to a high cobra if you're ready for it. And from here, we're gonna roll side to side, rocking onto one side of the pelvis and then the other. One shoulder dips towards the center and then the other. Find some maybe circles backwards with the shoulders to roll out the shoulder blades onto the back body. Just find a place of curiosity and exploration here. It doesn't need to look a certain way. Just think about opening it up into areas that you maybe haven't addressed in a while. Good, come back through center. We're gonna roll onto our right hip. Bend your left knee and reach your left arm high. So we're facing the back of the mat. Exhale, roll back through your high cobra pose. Plant your left hand, roll onto your left hip, bend your right knee, plant your right foot and reach your right arm high. Exhale, roll through center. Make it fluid and flowy, dip through center, roll onto your right side, plant your left foot, stretch left hand high. Curl your heart up to the sky and then exhale back through center. Roll onto your left hip, bend your left, right knee, right foot plants, right arm reaches up as you expose your heart to the sky. Exhale back through center. You might be rolling off your mat, that is totally fine. Let's take one more on each side. Become animalistic with it. Have some fun. Good, come back through center, roll onto your right hip. And this time, bend your left knee. We're gonna now cross our right ankle in front of our left ankle and shift forward. So you should feel an opening through the left hip and through the back body as you stretch your fingertips to the back of the mat. Good, find your home base, our high cobra pose, shift to the left. Right knee bends, right foot plants, left ankle crosses in front of right. Reach and stretch fingertips to the back of the mat. Good, one more on each side. Roll to the right, left knee bends, right ankle crosses in front, stretch forward. Moving with fluidity and curiosity and embodiment, good. Left ankle crosses, reach forward. Come back through Cobra, roll onto the right hip. 
plant left foot, cross right ankle. This time shift all the way forward so your right knee drops and your left knee drops. Press your hips forward, reach your hands high, facing the back of the mat. Exhale, lower back down. Home base, cobra pose, roll on through. Onto your left hip, right knee bends, left ankle crosses. This time lean forward, find some ankle mobility to drop your knees to the mat. Hips press forward, arms reach high. Exhale, lower back down. Good, cobra pose. Take one in breath, just to find some symmetry here. And then we're gonna tuck our toes, walk our hips back towards our heels. Find a malasana, I'm gonna turn and face you guys. Find a nice wide stance malasana on the balls of your feet, and then just shift onto one foot and the other, rocking from heel to toe. Heel to toe. Good, come back through center. Drop your right knee down towards the center of the mat. Push your left hand into your left knee to drive it out to the side. And then stretch your neck over to the right. Right ear drops to right shoulder. You should really feel a stretch along the left side of the neck. Come back through center. Pry your right knee open, externally rotating. And then drop left knee to center. Push your right knee out with your right hand and drop your left ear to your left shoulder. Come back through center. Let's take one more on each side. Externally rotate your left hip. Internally rotate right hip, drop your knee down, press your left hand into your left knee, stretch right ear to right shoulder. Come back through center, other side. Good. As you're ready, you can play with that pose as long as you'd like. We are going to find a crab type of seat. So roll onto your bottom. We'll start from a bear sit. So kneecaps are pointed up to the sky. Soles of the feet are planted. Walk your hands back behind you for support. And take some big circles out through your head and neck in one direction. And then in the other. Good, drop down onto your right elbow. Lift your left arm up and overhead to the top of the mat. Find some extension and some side body lengthening through the left side. Breathe in here. Good, exhale, push through your right palm. Plant your left hand. Inhale, lower left elbow and reach right arm to the top of the mat. Exhale to extend, left elbow. And switch it out, inhale, right elbow drops. Left arm reaches. Exhale to straighten right arm, switch it out. Breathe in, reach long through right side body. Breathe out, push to center. One more time, inhale, drop right elbow. This time, lift your hips from the mat as your left fingertips reach towards the top of the mat. Finding a little side bridge variation. Strong through the right elbow, solid through your shoulder joints. Lower down. Switch it out, left hand plants. Left elbow drops, right arm stretches overhead, and hips lift, engaging your glutes and hamstrings. Push your left elbow into the mat, stay solid through your shoulder girdle. And exhale, come back through center. Good. Take a little wiggle of your shoulders side to side in your crab or bear sit. Hopefully your back body muscles are feeling fairly engaged. We're gonna move into a flipped dog, which is actually the same thing as a crab reach if you do any type of animal flow. Right hand is gonna plant, drive down through your feet, lift your hips from the sky, reach left arm up and overhead. So it's almost like a wheel, but the planted arm isn't quite externally rotated enough. Good, from here, we're gonna scoop our right leg Underneath our body, come to a skandasana. So right foot curls underneath the body. We're just balancing on left foot and right hand. Plant your right foot at the top of the mat. Sink into your lunge. Skater lunge or surfer's lunge. 
Skandasana, good. Come back from where you started. Shift to the back of the mat, plant your left toes down, ground down through right hand. Hug your right knee into your body. Find your crab reach or your flipped dog. Good, lower back down. Other side, left hand plants. Inhale to press your hips and heart up to the sky, using your back body to create a shelf for your heart and lift it higher. Good, balance on left hand and right foot. Hug your left knee in towards your body. Curl it underneath, skandasana, left foot to the top of the mat. We're facing the long edge of the mat, other side. Good, come back from where you started. Right foot down, left hand down. Left foot down, hips reach. Exhale to lower. Good, we're gonna find crab reach to skandasana in a different way. Right hand plants, lift up through your hips. Flip your dog. This time, pick your left knee up, swivel on the ball of your right foot. Left knee is gonna come towards right hand at the top of the mat. As we turn our body to the right, find Skandasana. Good. Come back from where you started. So we're pivoting back to the left on the ball of the right foot. Drive your left knee up to the sky and find your crab reach. Lower back down. Other side, left hand plants. Pick your hips off the mat. Pivot on the ball of the left foot. Right knee drives high. Skandasana. Right foot comes to the top of the mat. Swivel onto your left heel. Good, left hand plants. Left foot plants. Right knee drives high. We're pivoting back so our belly faces the sky. And exhale, lower down. So just a couple different ways to move from a flip dog to a skandasana. I thought those were fun to play with. Um, if you want, you can pause the video and maybe take one more round on either side in whatever way felt better for you or felt more interesting for you. As you're ready, as you're finishing up, we're gonna come to stand at the front of our mats. Good. Shake out your arms, shake out your legs. <sighs> Let out a big breath. Good. Shift your weight into your right foot. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Left leg steps back, arms reach high. Exhale, stork pose. Drive into your right foot. Bring your left knee into your chest. Good. Inhale, curtsy side stretch. Swivel your left foot all the way back behind your right. Reach your left arm over to the right as well. So it looks like this from the front. Lengthening down the left side of the body. Good. Exhale, stork pose. Inhale, crescent lunge, step left leg back. Exhale, stork. Drive left knee into chest, balance on your right foot. Inhale, sweep it over, curtsy lunge. Left foot behind the right, stretch over to the right. Exhale, stork pose. Left knee to chest. Switch it out. Shift your weight into your left foot. Inhale. High crescent lunge, right foot steps back, arms sweep high. Exhale, drive into your left foot, right knee to chest. <sighs> Engage your front core. Swivel your right knee all the way back behind your left. Plant the outer edge of the right foot down as your right arm stretches to the left. Curtsy side bend. Exhale, stork pose, right knee to chest. <sighs> Inhale, high crescent lunge. Exhale, stork. <sighs> Inhale, side bend. Exhale, stork. Good. We're gonna switch it up a little bit, same movements, but listen carefully to what side I'm saying. All right, shift your weight into your right foot. Inhale, crescent lunge, left leg steps back. Exhale, knee to chest. Good, inhale, plant your left foot, step your right foot out to the left, side bend. Exhale, stork pose, right knee to chest. Good, inhale, right foot steps back, crescent lunge. So we're all alternating between the two. Exhale, stork, right knee to chest. This time right foot plants, left leg sweeps out, curtsy side bend. Exhale, stork. Just one more on each side. Crescent lunge, step that left foot back, arms reach high. Exhale to stork. Left foot plants, right arm sweeps out and over to the left, lean to the left. 
exhale to stork, right knee to chest. Step your right foot back, crescent lunge. Exhale to stork. Good, right foot plants, left knee to chest, and then side bend out. Good. So again, just a couple different options that you can play with, that you can coordinate your body with. Um, sometimes we do the same side thing, sometimes we alternate between the two. It's good to try a little bit of everything. Come down to a seat and make it a wide straddle sit. So heels are stretching out towards the corners of your mat. From here, take a little rock side to side, dipping your shoulders over one thigh and then the other. Good, right hand plants behind you. Keep both arms straight. We're gonna take a big circle, like we're sweeping our left arm across the sky. And then eventually it plants back behind your left hip. Pluck your right hand from the mat, big sweep over towards your left knee. Good, other way. Both arms are straight. Right arm stretches across the sky until it plants behind the right hip. Shift your weight into your right palm, left hand lifts. Sweep it over to your right knee. Big circles, keep moving at your own pace. Feeling that weight shift into your hand, feeling your shoulder nice and stable. We're opening up through the arms, through the side body, through the hips. Okay, let's go one more over to the left. Sweep your right hand up and over. All right, come back through center. Sit up tall out of your waist and then walk your fingertips forward. Just take a little fold and if you want to pulse, that's what I prefer doing. You're welcome to join me. Good, come back to seated. That is our class today. It was funky, it was fast paced. Um, I would recommend, hopefully that was just a little teaser or a taste for you. If any of those transitions or movements felt good or interesting, I would spend another five minutes here and just practice again. Um, but yeah, you should feel strengthened and opened through your whole body. And your heart rate might've gotten up a little bit. It's a good combination. Thank you for being here and I'll see you next time.